Hello and welcome to the second part of our Hertfordshire Odyssey on NBL Live. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the second part of our Hertfordshire double bill this weekend. First or second of all, we're here at Oakland's College in St. Albans, where the Oakland's Wolves look to build on their 88-73 win over the informed Leicester Warriors side by facing the Derby Trailblazers, who last played a couple weeks ago, where they defeated their opponents today, 124 to 93. Good afternoon, everybody. John Hobbs alongside Courtney Van Beest, a former NBL veteran. Courtney, welcome. Great to have you on board. Thank you for having me. It was a, a, a very convincing win for Derby and of course Oakland's now coming off a, a strong performance last uh, or yesterday evening against the Leicester Warriors looking to bounce back yes, again sir. further today against Derby. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. I mean uh, Oakland seems to be finding their feet. They've had a few wins in the month um, and just trying to build I guess for them. So uh, let's see what they've got to bring for us today. Absolutely. Just quickly, we will bring you the teams, uh, starting with the Oakland's Wolves. They'll be starting with AJ Roberts, Jordan Santiago, James Cunnings, uh, Kane Daly, and Oliver Wright. Uh, a strong lineup uh, for the Oakland's Wolves, based on youth, especially uh, through this Oakland's Academy. I think it's great. Um, one of the things I was biggest on during the lockdown was that uh, teams that were still able to play BBL and MBL were, were, were utilizing younger players, mm. uh, given that experience. Uh, there's no relegation fears, uh, there's nothing really to play for, I know there's been some trophies and some cups, uh, but getting young guys that experience that opportunity to play and compete at a higher level uh, is really good and Oakland are really exemplifying that. I think, I think uh, Derby have the opportunity to do so too. Absolutely, and the Derby Trailblazers as well, they'll be starting with uh, Charlie Brown, Blake Bowman, Oliver Stanley, Jacob Conway and Malcolm Smith. It's... Um, been a good uh, few weeks for the Derby Trailblazers, especially beating the Oakland's Wolves so convincingly in Nottingham in their temporary home of the Wildcats Arena, which I was stating yesterday was almost the unofficial home yeah, of uh, yeah, Basketball yeah, yeah, yeah. England. Three teams coming out of the Wildcats Arena this season and Derby one of those. But uh, they're faring quite well in, in the league, 11 and 4 right now. Uh, yeah, sitting in around fourth, I believe mm. it is. And I mean, you know, you've got THV, you've got uh, Solent sitting, you know, first and second. That was a great game by them uh, yesterday. I'm sure we'll talk about that oh, later. Oh, definitely, absolutely. Um, yeah. But that kind of third to sixth or third to seventh range uh, within the league is really competitive. Um, I think the numbers are quite close in terms of uh, wins and losses. Any team could really come out on top there. Uh, and Derby putting in a really good bid. So if you've just joined us on the Basketball England YouTube channel, welcome everybody. And just before the uh, game gets underway, we will be, both teams will be taking a knee for Black Lives Matter. I tell you what, this is exciting. <laughs> this, uh, this is the closest <laughs> I've gotten to a game in, uh, in over a year. So uh, It's been a while for you, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll definitely be touching on uh, everything from your career and, of course, um, Black Lives Matter. Of course. As well as both teams will be taking the knee shortly. I do re I will say we have been having issues uh, this week with our, um, or, this, or today with our uh, internet connection here at Oakland. I think as well, the general manager of the Oakland's Walls will just be coming towards us as well. We're so lucky. <laughs> I think we'll be having our, uh, uh, we just get our tables oh, moved just right, shortly. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. I did wonder why both teams were looking at us there. I thought they were just really, I thought they were admiring our shirts, John. I thought they saw the shirt, you know, the, it wasn't the shirt, no? Oh. Sorry, sorry, guys. Yep. Whoops. It's, this one's a bit caught. There we go. Everything is happening here. Everything is happening here. 
What a way! What a what a way to start NBL live. Technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not every day that referee David Griffin is uh, on my case. <laughs> so a great start to NBL live there as uh, official David Griffin um, telling us to just move the boards back. I remember just David. Out of the way. <laughs> I remember David back in the days when he was a youngster and now he's grown up. I'm starting to feel a bit old here. But anyway, we, <laughs> we are underway here at Oakland's and Derby who are in blue and the Oakland's Wolves in black. And here is here is Conway. Here's Conway. Conway nearly running out of room. Finds Smith. Smith up and under, no good. And AJ Roberts comes up with it. You know, it's funny, I was quite certain AJ would guard Malcolm. Um, just the size, experience, uh, it'd be a really good matchup. As a whistle has gone, must say we are have been having um, have been having internet connection uh, issues here at Oakland's today. So uh, apologies if the uh, the picture at times isn't what. Uh, you're expecting hopefully you will still be able to get a good picture of what is happening here today here is Roberts Santiago putting the moves on Blake Bowman turnaround jumper and that's just about rattles out and Oliver Stanley with the rebound Brown finds Conway Conway driving inside, too easy Excellent for team. Jacob Conway. Roberts. Roberts doesn't even get the rim there and it goes straight to Blake Bowman and the Blazers will reset. Here comes Bowman again and it's tipped out of bounds by Kane Daly. I'm liking the pace so far. I'm liking the fact that uh, both teams want to push it. They're aggressive, attacking. Um, so hopefully they can keep it up. Bowman inside. That's too easy, too easy. for Blake Bowman. And that's his first points of the day. 20 points in just 20 minutes of action when these two teams last met a couple weeks ago. Roberts. Roberts with the floater blocked by Stanley. That's his first block of the day. And at the other end, Conway with the layup. And do the Blazers take a quick six to nothing lead? I'm hoping AJ can stay aggressive, though. I think it will be the key to the game for them. Uh, if he can pour in some points early, keep Darby on their toes. Cummings thought about the three, instead, kicks it out to Santiago. We didn't know Santiago's really good. Averaged about 23 points for them. Uh, and there really is. Need the help. And there is AJ Roberts. Sorry, there, Courtney. No, it's not as AJ Roberts <laughs> gets the Wolves off the mark. Brown inside to Conway on the spin. Conway will go to the foul line, and straight away, Courtney Jacob Conway, number eleven, really inserting his aggressi yeah, aggressiveness yeah, yeah. early. I think it's uh, it's a uh, it's a big part for Derby. Uh, you know, they move the ball, attack well, find easy options. Um, and as we say, you can see Conway doing that there, posting up, getting to the basket, getting some free throws. And Conway, a 90% foul shooter. They, uh, they set up a little pressure after their last basket. I wonder if they'll do it again. But the 90% foul shooting, uh, Jacob Conway misses the first. Jinxed him. <laughs> the, Jinxed com him. the commentator's curse. It does happen occasionally, the commentator's curse. As Blake Bowman just uh, tying his laces up there before Conway's second free throw. Of course, when these teams last met, the Trailblazers shot 57% from the field in that 124-93 win. It was anything offensive was going right. 
for the Derby Trailblazers that day. Yeah, well, they, they dominated most of the game. Uh, rebounds, assists, field goal percentage. Um, they pretty much had it going for them. Kane Daly with the three there, and the uh, gap is two early doors here. Brown pressured by Santiago, and Cummings comes over to help. It will stay a Derby ball. That's good help defense there from James Cummings. Really good. That's what you want to do. You want to pressure them, try and create some turnovers, get some easy shots. Blake Bowman looking for options, goes it alone, instead kicks it out to Conway. Shot clock down to five, wow. and Conway puts wow. in a long three. Wow. Here's Santiago. Santiago looking to answer back, Ooh. and Stanley rebounds. And the steal there. Here come the Oakland's Wolves once more. Nice. Unlucky. And James Cummings a bit long with his layup attempt. Here is Malcolm Smith. Inside it goes to Conway, and he'll go to the foul line for two. Malcolm Conway's aggression. And a quick timeout has been called. Yeah, I'm really liking Conway's aggression. Mm. Um, he's really, you know, putting uh, Oakland to the sword right now, attacking at every opportunity, um, both from distance and inside, actually, to be fair. He knocked it down on three from quite, quite a far distance. If you've just joined us on our Basketball England YouTube channel, welcome, everybody. John Hobbs alongside Courtney Van Beest here for the Oakland Wolves against the Derby Trailblazers. I must say, um, just for the final time, apologies for our internet connection here at Oakland's. Um, we are... Trying to sort it, but uh, we have got a picture. That's the most important thing. It's not as high definition as we would like it, but um, we've still got um, a connection nonetheless. The team working so hard to get a 4G connection going on, and it's it's been one of those issues, Courtney, hasn't it, with, with live streaming uh, this season. Most teams in this pandemic have been doing it so that fans can can watch their teams play and that's what NBL Live has been you know, trying to do over the past two seasons as well especially for the parents of the import players who might not get to travel over from the United States or from anywhere around the world so they get to watch it on YouTube and it's, it is good to see but they're all, all sometimes connection issues and, and, and issues that we're dealing with it's just teething issues at the it's end of the day isn't exactly it? So. it's teething issues yeah. it's something that's brand new to us um, a lot of the facilities probably aren't built for this level of streaming and, 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 and access um, it's great for the, for, for the team it's great for, the, for the, the game of basketball itself really to have something that's, that's available uh, for people to see even during the pandemic even during the lockdown I mean, goodness gracious, I've even had to steal your hotspot connection just to get uh, some Wi-Fi coming on. Whatever we Unlimited want data is such a beautiful it's thing, a beautiful isn't thing. it? It's a beautiful <laughs> thing. At the right cost, of course. <laughs> Jacob Conway to the line. Hit four three-pointers uh, against the Oakland Wolves a couple weeks ago in Nottingham. He's already hit one three already. And the Trailblazers lead 12 to five. Still seeing that, still seeing that pressure. I think Derby are really going to try and keep the ball out of Oakland's hands for as long as possible, make them make some mistakes, and get some easy scores. Of course, Oakland's a very young team this season as well, so the pressure will be on them. It has been pretty much on them all season. Here's one of the veterans, though. Roberts going all the way. Beautiful footwork and, from and AJ we, Roberts. And that's what we want to see more of. AJ getting busy. Uh, you know, he, he showed you he was eating just then. I want to see him eat all game. Conway. Another three-point attempt. That one is off. And Kane Daly with the rebound. I think Oakland should be trying to push back and, and, and play fast as well. I think the more they try and set up, the less their advantage. Mm. I think if they can get those kind of rebounds and run, find early shooters or get the ball inside, it'd be, you know, greatly to their benefit. Kane Daly nearly lost the ball there, but was fouled by, Blo by uh, Blake Bowman. And it will stay on Oakland's possession. Long shot on the way from Oliver Wright was no good. And here is Charlie Brown. I love that name. <laughs> I love that name. I didn't want to say it when you first said it, but I love that name, Charlie Brown. Blake Bowman going inside. Mm. 
I think that's the second foul on, uh, and on yeah, Angel. Yeah, that is. Well. It's unfortunate. A second foul and. Yeah. Oakland's though so far shooting just three for ten from the field to start, and the Trailblazers are more efficient four of six. Yeah, they're just getting the looks they want. They're moving the ball. They're getting it to the right places. Oakland's are a little bit slow to set up, I think. Good to see uh, departing COO of uh, Basketball England, Charlie Ford, getting his comments in. Apparently, the stream is working okay. We are glad. That's actually a big relief, actually, Fair for enough. us, Paul, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, something's going right. <laughs> <laughs> And the very popular Rebound Basketball blog, uh, blog just confirming that as well. Big shout out to Rebound. So, must give a, a big thanks to Ralston Humble and the team for getting uh, the connection sorted and getting the camera work to a good standard, it would seem, so that you can watch this game here today. It is very windy, though. The door is open as we get the 4G connection going <laughs> as well. So the, uh, the curtain is blowing at me as we... As we call this game, here is Kane Daly driving at Smith, going aggressively inside excellent take, and scores. Excellent take. And that's off of good ball movement. Oof. And Santiago with the steal. He's uh, he's top five in steals, if I'm not if I'm not uh, mistaken. Kane Daly Santiago. way off with his three point attempt, and here is Charlie Brown finds Smith, and Smith just. Went to dribble the ball and it came off his foot out of bounds. Yeah, it's very, it's very loose right now. Absolutely, an un uncharacteristic mistake from Malcolm Smith, usually so reliable Definitely. offensively. And he'll uh, take a seat and Ronald Aberia will come into the game as well as Joshua Gademi. We're just having um, an issue here with the scoreboard. That Ashley Ugo is uh, listed as number two. I think he's wearing number three, actually, at the moment. Seems so. And <laughs> the best of British basketball. We get told to move our table, and yeah, uh, yeah. Ashley Ugo's wearing the wrong jersey. Four forty-six remaining in the first quarter. It's thirteen to nine in favour of the Trailblazers. I think Ashley Hugo will. Um, they will accept that Ashley Hugo will be playing as number three, not number two, as listed. That's fair enough. So Ashley Hugo is number three, ladies and gentlemen. Just so we're all aware, here is Santiago for the Wolves. We like to have the lighter side of British basketball turnover there, as, Unfortunate. as Seth Wiley couldn't hold on to it. Some way to make your commentary debut today, Courtney. It is. It is. We've got it all going on. <laughs> Wrong numbers. We're too close to the court. Yeah, but like advertising boards, what? Wi-Fi issues. Whatever. Whoever thought this month went into basketball. <laughs> Peak 2021, isn't it? <laughs> Stanley Oof. going inside. Very aggressive. And a foul on the floor. So even if that went in, the basket wouldn't have counted. Kane Daly takes a seat and Obi Mbeke will take uh, will take his place. Here is a three on the way. That was from uh, Gudemi and nice, nice, nice pressure there from the Trailblazers. But uh, the Oakland's Wolves beat the press and here is Santiago. And Santiago is fouled. Very crafty. Very crafty. Here is Santiago again. Egbonique inside, looking for the, the ball there, but Santiago decided to go it alone. Here is Conway inside to Aberia. Aberia inside, too strong. Very scrappy first quarter thus far here very, at Oakland's College. A lot of rust. Absolutely. Of rust. Oakland's obviously had the game yesterday. Um, I wonder how many back-to-backs they've played this year. 
Oh, now you're putting me on the spot there. <laughs> but, <I'm laughs> but clearly having an impact. <laughs> um, yeah, they'll find their feet. Soon. They'll find their feet. As Joshua Gademi now at the line for two, had 19 points in their win over the Oakland's Wolves a couple of weeks ago. A very promising combo player can play at either the guard or the forward position. That's a, that, you know, that's a coach's dream, it isn't is, it? It is. Especially, uh, especially in NBL one, where you don't typically have a lot of size. Mm. Uh, you like to have versatile guys that can that can go inside for you and mix it up, uh, but have good perimeter skills defensively, offensively as well. Oliver Wright off with his uh, three-point attempt. And Wright, who. Uh, is now zero for two from the field. He was actually three for 11 against Derby a couple of weeks ago as uh, Toby Gastaldi Davis comes into the game. Number seven, a, a, a guy who knows this gym very well, very played for well. Oakland's, yeah, co yeah. Oakland's College in the Elite Academy Basketball League. Of course, hopefully next season that will get underway. It's Fingers been crossed. one of those things, isn't it, Courtney, that um, with the pandemic has happened, only elite sport was able to continue. So obviously the BBL, the NBL, and the WBBL, the WNBL have continued on, but junior leagues, uh, academy leagues have, have stopped, and it's you know it's been a real struggle for for the youth um, to to you know to even see some basketball action. So it's good to see the youth playing here today as no. uh, as, U, as Ashley Hugo puts in a two. It's great, it, you know. It's a lot of these kids, especially if you're, a, you know, an EABL academy player. You're, you're, you are where you are to play basketball. Mm. Um, so to be tied to a Division One team uh, and have those opportunities week in, week out to train and play, it's just great for continuity. Mm. Um, it's a big shame for you know the lower programs, uh, under 18s Premier and National League sides, ABL sides, um, not being able to get those opportunities. But you know, Lord willing, things will kind of get back to normal. We'll be able to play more games uh, in the new season. Of course, Blake Bowman, number six, committing to the University of Missouri at Kansas City for next season, and uh, one of the main ones as well, Cameron Hildreth, who, oh, who wow, moved yeah. to the moved to the Surrey Scorchers uh, mid-season you know, to, to try and get more playing time. He um, you know, will be committing to Wake Forest yeah, next yeah. year, so you know it's very important for these youth, these youngsters, to play as, as much as they, you know, as much as possible. It's as huge. Absolutely, and to get that experience as well, mm. playing you know playing against bigger, stronger competition. Um, like you say, Cam, he was he was with Worthing, yep. uh, which is you know good competition as it is. Stepped up to the DBL side, Surrey Scorchers, and has really just shown his ilk. Really shown how good he is, um, and ultimately, I'm sure, will be re more so ready for for Wake Forest when he when he leaves. Absolutely. Again, the pressure from the Trailblazers. As Kane Daly just gets it over the timeline, surrounded by two Derby players. That's brilliantly done from Kane Daly as he slows it down. They're Eight doing, on the shot clock. They're doing great to break the pressure, but they've really got to find a way to put the ball in the basket. And again, another foul called. Both referees, or all three referees, really having their hands full in this first okay. quarter. A lot of, lot of calls having to be made. Obviously, uh, Oakland's already in the penalty. With 2.46 left of this first quarter, here is Gastaldi Davis putting the moves on Smith. Finds an open Santiago in acres of space, and he rattles one in. That's just what they needed. Just what they needed. Break into that double-digit threshold. Still some time in the first to make up some, some, some headway. Here is Ugo as the Trailblazers just slow it down. Conway. Good defense here. Conway inside to Ugo again, putting the moves on Gastaldi. Davis and a foul. Great movement, great play from Ashley Ugo, and he'll go to the line for one. As Blake Bowman gets ready to check in, Jacob, Jacob Conway takes a seat. Deserves it. He deserves it. He's done a lot this quarter. Uh, really steady the ship for Derby. Hit some key shots, got to the basket. Ashley Ugo misses the free throw. Big rebound, though, from Malcolm Smith, and Ugo has it back. Open three is long. Uh. Oberia and Ugo battling for it. And Igbuniki has it, and here come the uh, Wolves again. 
So this is where some of the issues were last game. Uh, Derby really outdid them on the board, and you can see getting second and third opportunities is really going to let Oakland down. Jordan Santiago was hoping for a foul there as his shot went in. Here is Bowman. Oberia going all the Ooh, way, yes. and he'll throw it down for I two. I saw that slam coming. I saw that slam coming. That was nice. Quick first step yeah, from Ronald Oberia, and he made no mistake inside. No, no time wasted. Minute 20 left, oh. and all the way again, and a foul. Ugbenicki with the two. Just right back at you. As James Cummings gets ready to check in for Caleb Tabernar. And Joshua Gademi will take a seat. And Obi Egbenicki with a, a strong move inside and Very connecting strong. for two. Very strong. With the free throw two is exactly what you need. 120 remaining in this. And another Ooh. turnover. Kane Daly going inside. And Blake Bowman with the foul both teams already in the penalty as well 116 remaining yeah. it's um in the first in the first yeah <laughs> i mean both of them, they're not leaving anything on you know on the side they're, they're they're playing aggressively both teams are going to the basket hard uh they've both extended pressure now which is going to create a lot of opportunities for turnovers etc and i think like i said at the beginning for oakland to really stay in this game they've got to be aggressive uh, and try and get good looks uh, try and run and, and be quick down the floor uh, and I think, you know, putting Derby under pressure is, is, is going to be one of the ways they do that. Trailblazers with six turnovers already in this first quarter. The Oakland Wolves only have three, but it's a smart timeout from Coach Shaw here, just trying to calm things down for the Trailblazers. They do lead by five at the moment, but it's it's been a very scrappy first quarter at the moment, and both teams really struggling to find their rhythm. Yeah, well, I think... Oakland's again coming off of you know a game yesterday they've won. Uh, they want to be able to replicate what they did yesterday, but it's two very different teams. Um, so they want to remain aggressive and find the shots that they found yesterday. Derby just kind of trying to come in, um, mark their authority, uh, and, and find the right shots for themselves. Like I said, but it does seem with, with the pressure, um, a lot of just the physicality, like you say, is uh, is really is really unsettling the game right now. Hopefully, it can settle down just a bit. Maybe the scrappiness does play into the hands of the Oakland's Wolves, who are a very physical young side and uh, like to pressure the ball where they can. But so far, we've seen Derby do a lot of the uh, ball pressure on the Oakland's uh, point guard, disrupting the rhythm and making sure an offensive set is, is, is harder than, than it looks yeah, or yeah. harder than to play as uh, Kane Daly will go to the line for two. He seems to be you know, a player that just improving more and more as the season goes on. Kane Daly had 20 points against Derby a couple weeks ago. Nice. And Ashley Ugo with the rebound as Daly splits the free throws. Brown. Oberia along the other side of the baseline, but this time kicks it out to Bowman. Bowman, great defense great from defense. Santiago, and Malcolm Smith nearly got a hand there, but uh, it goes out of bounds. It will be an Oakland's ball. Great defense, though, from Jordan Santiago. Definitely. And like I, I mentioned before, I think he's top five in steals in the league. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's what we come to expect, to be fair. He's got quick hands. He's strong-bodied. Um, and it's really going to help keep Oakland kind of in and around if he's playing good defense on the ball. Final minute of this first quarter, the Trailblazers lead 22 to 18. Egbunicki, beautiful Amazing move, take. up and under, Amazing. over Ugo. That was beautifully done by the Oakland Wolves number 10. A little bit of English on the, on the spin off the backboard there as well. Conway, Brown. Bit of enthusiasm on here from the Oakland's Wolves as Conway misses the two. Ugo on the follow. Another second attempt. Another second attempt for, for Derby is what's really going to let Oakland's down. They've really got to start getting those rebounds. That's the fifth offensive rebound by the Trailblazers as we enter the final seconds of a 
scrappy and frantic first quarter here at Oakland. And Ooh. another foul as Santiago putting his body in the way of Ashley Hugo as he was going for the three-point attempt. A veteran move from Jordan Definitely. Santiago. Definitely crafty. He could have got away of pulling up there as well. Would have got himself three shots. He gets two anyway because his team fouled. Uh, but he could have got the extra one, which would have, if he makes them three, would have put him down one uh, to end the quarter, which would be a great way to end the quarter, I think, for Oakland. And Santiago, who's admitted on social media that he's not quite 100% fit at the moment. He's carrying... Um, a few niggling injuries, he's been saying, and only a 66% foul shooter as he misses the third. Oh, no. Yeah, you can see the ankle tape. He's been hobbling yeah. a little bit at times, um, but he's here to give 100%. You can see by the way he's playing. Um, Final seconds as Charlie Brown. Ooh, I think a technical, technical has been yeah, called yeah. on Jordan Santiago as he technical. looks over to the commentary table to shake his head. Yeah, I think he wants. I think he wants to watch the tape back. I think he wants to see. But I don't know if we, we've got those capabilities, John. <laughs> Either way, you know, <laughs> 1.2 seconds remaining in the uh, first period, and Jacob Jacob Conway will uh, go to the foul line. Well, he's 90 percent right, so he's going to knock this one down. Or? Well, he's already missed one. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, he's one for two from the uh, from the foul line. Excuse me, five for six from the foul line. Leaky. Apologies. Yeah, sorry about that. As uh, Conway makes the resulting free throw. 1.2 seconds remaining, and the Trailblazers get a better look at the basket in the final seconds. The two players, Charlie Brown and Santiago, just exchange a final few words as it goes back out of bounds in just a Three tenths of a second have just been taken off the clock there, so still nine tenths of a second remaining in this first period. It can still get a shot off. It's <laughs> doable. Yeah. Seen it happen loads of times before. Yeah, yeah. And Smith does get it off in time, but it's no good. And that ends the just first missing. quarter. And Derby, who started very well, but the Oakland's Wolves have come back into it. The Derby, tra Derby Trailblazers lead 25-21. Your analysis of that first quarter, Courtney? Um, I think the tables really turned uh, in Oakland's favour when they applied a bit of pressure. They got some turnovers. Um, they started being a bit more aggressive to the basket. Uh, and I think they capitalised off a couple of made shots as well. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's well within their abilities. You know, knock down shots, apply some pressure easy enough formula but it's got to be consistent and I think as, as young players you, you have to learn to find that consistency mm. uh, what works for you and just keep going with it really as we uh, end the first quarter here at Oakland's College the Derby Trailblazers lead 25-21 if you've just joined us on the Basketball England YouTube channel welcome John Hobbs alongside Courtney Van Beest and looking at the comments on our YouTube channel a lot of love for you Courtney it's your first time commentating uh, for NBL Live, and, is, yeah, yeah. and a lot of people um, wishing you well. Of course, Dave Owen, a bit harsh on me. He's only here for your debut, apparently. Oh, He's not here well. to even watch the game. <laughs> he just wants to listen to you. And a former coach of yours, Coach Malpass, as well, saying uh, oh, really? saying hello. So it's good to see a lot of the comments. How's it going, watch? <laughs> <laughs> on there. And you yourself, Courtney, have had such a, you know, an illustrious career in the National Basketball League. You've won pretty much everything except for the playoff yeah, title. The playoff, you were picked yeah. to the post by a young Barking Abbey side. Yeah. Um, some several years ago, no pun intended there. But um, any any memories that stand out for you as a as, as a player? I mean, I'll keep it all positive for the live <laughs> stream. Um, the year we won, the year we well, in fact, no, I'll take it all the way back to London Mets um, in Holloway. Uh, we won the National Cup, I believe, um, in our first year in the league. Uh, which was great for us. It was an amazing feeling. A lot of young guys in that team as well. Uh, David Ajimobi, uh, a young JJ Bowler, um, and then veterans like Arturo Noah on that team. Uh, Albert Margai, who's yeah. currently up at uh, yeah, Bradford. Bradford yeah. um, amazing, amazing victory. Amazing feeling. Um, that was one of my fondest memories. But then we won the league with Essex as well, with a similar group of younger guys. My, well, I say younger guys, a bit older, but myself, David, and Albert uh, won the league at Essex when we got here in my second season. So, a lot, lots to remember, really. Um, but just the, com the competition, just being able to compete every week against high standard of guys um, and, and get better. I like a lot like a lot of these young guys here. And of course, a number of former Leopards still playing um, in the uh, NBL, most notably Howard Crawford, Ishmael Fontaine, who are now teammates at the Worthing Thunder. And yes, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great to see those guys 
teaming up once more and obviously you have fond memories of being teammates with those two as well. I mean, two, two amazing guys. Um, that was I got there, that was my first season when I, I played with Howard and, uh, and Ishmael on that team. Uh, we did amazing things. We could have won the league that year as well. We just about missed out. Um, had a good playoff run. Uh, so it was great. Um, and it was a, a great kind of welcoming to Essex for me. Um, you know, storied, storied uh, club. I've uh, had lots of success in the past. BBL, NBL one. Amazing players have passed through. So to be part of it for me was really big. Oliver Stanley with the free throws to start the uh, second quarter as the Trailblazers lead 27-23. Egwaniki on the ball. And AJ Roberts has it. Kane Daly. Athletic, athletic there from Daly, but his layup is off. Here's Brown. Brown to Conway. Conway with the floater, and that's no good. And Darby will reset. Here's Smith. Smith in his favorite position. Mid-range to the inside jumper, no patient. good. Oliver Stanley now will go to the, the line for two. Both teams, you know, rusty from mid-range, but yeah, Darby yeah. especially, uh, a bit rusty, especially mid-range, but they're getting the job done inside aggressively. They are, they are. I mean, and they're, they're, they've got bodies down there. So if they miss, you know, they're getting second for chances. Um, that is often resulting in a basket or a foul, if not both. Um, and that is what's kind of giving them that small edge right now. Uh, to keep the lead. Jacob Conway at the moment leading all scorers with 13 points for the Trailblazers as <laughs> Oliver Stanley misses the first free throw. A sneaky 13 as well. Right? Absolutely, yes. You know, he was, uh, was it six for seven? Six for seven from the foul line at the moment. So most of his points coming from the foul line yeah. as Oliver Stanley misses both free throws. <laughs> Roberts. <laughs> Unlucky. And Unlucky. Smith steals it, and here comes Charlie, Charlie Brown, excuse me, for the uh, Trailblazers. Here's Malcolm Smith putting the moves on Cummings, blocked by AJ Roberts, but the uh, Trailblazers still have it. Oliver Stanley going back to the foul line. Such an imposing figure, yeah. Oliver Stanley, who leads the team in blocks. A big defensive presence, and inside, not too shabby either. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Goes hard to the basket, is aggressive, patient. Good footwork. And Coach Malpass with a, a comment, uh, just as we were reminiscing about your career, a great squad of players. And, and the Leopards, you know, ever since they came back into the National Basketball League, you know, such an array of talent that has graced these shores. Definitely. Obviously, you were part of that. Uh, that um, that list as well. Yeah, and, yeah, I guess. You know, obviously, the the tradition carrying on with the Oakland's Wolves as well and we are seeing a glimpse into the future these players certainly have bright futures ahead of them here's one of them Kane Daly and he's fouled by Malcolm Smith a blocking foul there definitely a lot of young talent being displayed on the floor um, and I think you know if they keep going the right path we can see them having some quite illustrious and long careers in NBL and beyond absolutely and it's you know, all coached by you know, a fairly young coach himself in Tom Baker yeah yeah as um, Josh Kademi will check back in. Malcolm Smith takes a seat. Ronald Aberia also comes in, and Ashley Hugo will take a seat. 8.28 remaining early stages of this second quarter. Our Hertfordshire doubleheader ending here in Oakland. As AJ Roberts has it inside, it goes, and it's stolen, and here comes Ronald Aberia in transition, yeah. and he'll dunk it home. Yeah, he was hungry for that dunk. I was going to say it when he checked in. I knew he wanted another one. Absolutely and nothing he... stopping Ronald Aberia in transition. And nearly stolen away as Oliver Stanley gets his hands in the way. It will stay in Oakland possession. The referee in me wants to mention that was a delay of game. Though. He shouldn't hold the ball after he dunks <laughs> it. He should have got a warning, but, you know, not my job today. I was going to say, a lot of... Um, I've seen that quite a few times this season. A lot of leniency, actually, on that. Uh, we've seen it in both the NBL and the BBL this season as Daly, nine to shoot, stolen by a barrier again. Here he comes and again. here comes two on one. Ooh. A barrier travels with it. Indecisive, he wasn't exactly. sure. Absolutely, was thinking about either passing it to Kademi or going it alone. And it's a travel turnover trailblazers and the uh, Oakland's Wolves breathe a sigh of relief. Here's Santiago.
And Thiago looking for options. Conway's not going to let that happen. He knows what AJ Robertson's about. He's not going to let him get easy buckets. His right, up good and under. Work, unlucky. And good defense from Stanley, but it's a way to get the shot off from right, and the foul is called. We, uh, we just had a moment just here, AJ talking to one of the younger guys, kind of brought him in, told him where he should have been. And that's, what you, that's, what, that's one of the benefits of having someone you know, experienced like AJ, obviously Santiago as well, talking to the younger guy, trying to bring him along, teach him little bits and pieces about the game. Of course, really AJ, like to see it. Of course AJ Roberts, a playoff finalist with the uh, Hemel Storm a couple of years ago. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most notably, uh, formerly with the uh, now defunct London City Royals. Here he is on the ball. AJ Roberts inside to Kateri looking for the dunk. And Ahmed Kateri will go to the line for two. Ahmed Kateri looking for the, the highlight reel yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, I could see it. He, I think he wanted the dunk. He saw the defense coming and, and second-guessed it, and that ultimately was the reason he missed. If he had just gone all the way, he would have got the foul on a basket. Uh, we, we'll be looking at one free throw here. And Kateri off with his first free throw. Both teams... Not shooting the ball very well from the foul line. Derby Trailblazers 11 of 18. And that's pretty much Conway as well. So. And absolutely, <laughs> yeah. And three for seven now for the Wolves. Here is a barrier looking to go to Kademi inside. Finds a bit of room and Tough. makes no mistake. Wild pass from Kane Daly. He was looking for Oliver Wright. Oliver Wright not even <laughs> attempting to get that no, ball. No, no. It was way over him. A little bit out of his way. And it will be a derby possession with 6.55 remaining in the second period. If you've joined us on the Basketball England YouTube channel, welcome everybody. Great to see so many of you tuning in. Get the comments going. Tell people that this game is going on. A barrier from the baseline. Eight to shoot. Brown going inside. Brown off the glass. Strong move from Charlie Brown. I'm impressed. Derby remain aggressive. They just keep going. And I guess that's why Oakland, to be fair, and uh, having the foul troubles they're having. Um, but Derby aren't having any problems getting to the basket today. Shooting around 40% from the field, the Trailblazers right now, Santiago. Now, will that count? No, the, uh, John just going to confirm John it. Off. Referee John Letitia and David Griffin just conferring. And a foul has been called on the floor, so the Wolves will get possession back. As Ashley Ugo will... Take a seat, Ronald the Barrier will. will take a seat, Ronald, Ashley yeah, Ugo coming back in. Excuse <laughs> I was gonna me. Say, I, was gonna say. I knew what I meant, really. Yeah. <laughs> I was right there with you, don't worry. <laughs> Here is Santiago. Hard switch. Roberts for three. That's money. Oof, just off. And Oliver Wright was going for the rebound instead. It goes to Stanley, and Oliver Stanley travels with it. That'll be having a lot of unforced errors. A lot of unforced errors, um, which is I wouldn't expect, to be fair. But, you know, again, works into the hands of Oakland. Absolutely. So. And nine turnovers now for the Trailblazers as well. Santiago. Spots up for three, and... That's no good. Stanley with the rebound. That's already Oliver Stanley's seventh rebound. Wow. Here is Brown. Putting the moves on Kateri. Here is Conway. Conway inside to Stanley. Six to shoot. Stanley over Roberts. Very tough. And move. a timeout has been called by coach Tom Baker as Very the. Tough. Derby Trailblazers have raced into a 13-point lead with 5.29 remaining. They lead 36 to 23. And quietly, despite the turnovers, offensively, they're still executing yes. their offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still executing on the offensive end. Oakland's have become a bit stagnant. They haven't hit the shots from outside. Uh, they had some luck going to the basket to end the first, and they haven't had that same luck to start the second. 
Um, but let's see if they kind of pick it back up again. It was the second half of the first quarter they did so well, so let's see if they can do it again. And for the Oakland's Wolves, relying heavily on, on AJ Roberts and Jordan Santiago, you know, maybe find time to see if there's any other weapons at their disposal. Oliver Wright has shown that he can shoot the ball yeah. you know, when needed. He has the confidence to do that. Kane Daly has started aggressively as well. Definitely. Um, and, and, and all it takes is to continue to be aggressive. Uh, you know, you keep looking for your shots, you keep going to the basket, and opportunities will arise for you. Know, nobody, well, I think nobody, but you very rarely go 0% <laughs> <zero percent laughs> from the field for a game. So um, just remaining in the game, remaining focused, uh, and taking the shots that come your way, really. Of course, yesterday we had the uh, Hemel Storm and the Reading Rockets as part of our Hertfordshire doubleheader here, of course. We're here just down the road. It's only about a 10-minute drive from uh, the University of Hertfordshire Sports Village to Oakland's College. But what a game that was on a NBL game Live. Yeah, that was Hemel a Storm coming from behind to get the win over yeah. the Reading Rockets. Reading, who led for the majority, and then Hemel just pipped them to the post. Teo Olafusi with a big clutch three to win huge the game. Huge three, huge three. Roberts. And AJ's Stanley, got to get going. absolutely. And Girl, Stanley the with the rebound. Run. Here's Gudemi. Gudemi blows past Roberts. Roberts gets it to go in the foul. AJ Roberts just a little committed there. And yeah. Josh Gudemi with the two. AJ wants the big blocks. He wants the blocks. He sized them up for a few. And uh, the referees are calling the body contact today. So it's, it's not going in, in, in his way. Josh Gademi getting his body in the way of Robert, so he was unable to get that block. And, of course, reaching over, that's what the foul was. And Gademi makes the three-point play. And all of a sudden, the Trailblazers lead 39-23 as we enter the final five minutes of the half. Yeah, they're really pulling away now. Oakland needs a basket. Something, even just go into the basket, get some free throws. Roberts. Finds an open James Cummings in the corner. That would have been big. That excellent offensive rebound. That's what you need. Great Second rebound. chances. Absolutely. And Wright and puts in go. a three. There Oliver Wright. Go. We mentioned him earlier. He can shoot the ball and got it in the corner. Made no mistake. Oh, excellent. Hustled for the rebound. Got the shot. Got the ball back. Knocked down a shot. Adding those stats right there. Absolutely. Of course, Oliver Wright was just three for 11 when these two teams last met. So eager to bump his shot percentage up but Definitely. obviously contribute to his team hopefully getting a win here today but they have a lot of work to do down 13 Gudemi looking for options finds it in Stanley Stanley blows past Cummings gets it to go and a foul and that's a really explosive move he got him off he's got the defender off his feet attacked the basket saw it at home the whole way Oliver Stanley, who actually averages a double-double this season of 11 points, 11 rebounds, and leads the team with 1.4 blocks per game. Now at the line for the bonus. And he's long with his three-throw three, three throw attempt, but gets the ball back. And Derby can reset again. Conway going inside. Scramble under the basket. Stanley has it. They're really on these offensive boards. They're sending two or three bodies every time. And just getting hands on it. Conway, step back, fade away Very is nice. good. S splendid move there from Jacob Conway. Defense, 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 defense. Santiago. Inside it goes to Roberts, putting the moves on Ugo. Roberts with the turnaround jumper. Stanley it. with another rebound. And that's Final Oliver look. Stanley's 10th rebound already of this game. Gudemi for three. Gudemi knocks it down. Everything falling for the Trailblazers. They now lead by 20. Yeah, they're in their rhythm now. They're finding the shots they want. They're playing the defense they want to play. Second opportunities are keeping them, uh, keeping them positive. Bit of a rough spell this for the Oakland's Wolves. Travel called on AJ Roberts. Eighth turnover for the Oakland's Wolves already. As Killian Bosfield will come into the game, Oliver Stanley, who's 
flirting already with a double double will take a seat. I think coach said take it easy, save some for the Absolutely, second half. Absolutely, yeah. Ashley Hugo stolen wow. by wow. Santiago. Amazing hands. And a foul called on Ashley Hugo. I like that. I like that. I like the talk. I love the talk. Bit of trash talking there from Jordan Santiago, just saying, "I've got you every time." And I love it. Something that you were you were a big fan of in your days of playing. You were a bit of a trash talk yeah, yourself, right? Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of room for trash <laughs> talk in the game. I'll be honest. As long as it doesn't get personal, I think there's a lot of room for trash talk in the game. Um, I think if you're a competitor on either end, you know you enjoy it. If someone's trash talking you, you enjoy it. If you're trash talking, you're going to enjoy it just as much. Two forty-eight remaining in the first half, and the Trailblazers lead forty-six twenty-six. If you've just joined us on the Basketball England YouTube channel, welcome everybody. And still, the the, court, the comments come in. Ishmael Fontaine, of course, Worthing Thunder, a, a big win yesterday over Team Newcastle. Yes. Probably one of the longest road trips of the season for any team in the National Basketball League. Near 700 mile round trip I don't want for to the imagine, Thunder. I don't want to imagine what time they left home for that trip. 6 a.m. Man. <laughs> roughly, I think it was roughly 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something I definitely don't miss. <laughs> uh, those, those early starts, late finishes on the weekend. Oh, step back a bit more. There we oh, go. All right for Knocks three. Right puts in another Knocks three. You can see it. he's confident now. He's confident now. Growing in confidence as I think the Oakland's Wolf bench receiving a, a warning there from referee David Griffin. And you see that pressure again. That pressure to try and make him make a mistake is what benefited him in the first quarter. Here is Conway. Yep. And yep. an offensive foul moving screen there from J um, from Gudemi, excuse me, and it's an Oakland's possession. And Oakland's, you know, with the final two minutes to go of this first half, it's it's all about just getting a few stops and trying to execute your offense for, for the Oakland's Wolves. Certainly, it's not an insurmountable lead. Um, you know, a few more stops, maybe, maybe a free, a few more attempts at the basket. You're looking at a 15, 14, 13 point game. Mm. And you're happy with that, especially if you haven't played too well in the second quarter. You can, you can build upon that. So far, though, the Trailblazers have outscored the Oakland's Wolves. And there you go. 21 11. And Santiago's Santiago, still going. Santiago, yeah, absolutely. He's still, still going. talking to Ashley Hugo as he knocks down a three. He loves it. Oof. That could have been a big steal. Daly with a no, nearly a steal on Conway, but Conway still recovers. Here is the Kentucky native, Stanley. <laughs> Pulling the moves on Roberts. Finds Conway for three, and it's long as the shot clock was winding down, and a whistle has gone. Another foul called, Here this time on Oliver Stanley. Just as I said, you know, you hit a free, you get some free throws. You sense the momentum as well now is is with the Oakland's Wolves. You know, trailing by 14. If they can just cut the deficit a little bit more toward half time. Oh, definitely. And, and I mean, not, all not to play for in the, in the third in, period. Certainly, and not to be overly optimistic, but I mean, two minutes to go in the second quarter is a long time. Mm. You know, again, you make some free throws here, makes two here. It's a 12 point game. You get a stop, make another basket. A lot can happen. A lot can happen. I won't try and predict the game, but. Charlie Brown comes back into the game for the Blazers as uh, Dominic Prospear takes a seat. But make your free throws is probably one of the things that Tom Baker should be te will be telling his team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As AJ Roberts splits a pair of free throws. Lots of points left in the line, which is what you hate because they've worked quite hard to get there. Could be a wolf. Darby doing well to break the press, but stolen by James Cummings, another foul called. And that'll send James Cummings to the foul line. Both teams once again in the penalty. Yeah. It almost makes you wonder why Oakland's waited to put the pressure on for so long in this quarter. I think they really got some, some, some good stuff out of it the first quarter. Um, and I would have imagined would have gone straight back to it. They were a little bit delayed with it, but here they are, you know, causing turnovers, getting free throws, knocking down a couple of open shots. I think they've hit three this quarter, three mm. open threes. A number of Derby Trailblazer fans watching on from the uh, from the Midlands here today. Derby, such a well-supported team, travel with their team yeah. 
home and away. Obviously, due to this pandemic, they've not been able to. And another joy of the live stream is the visiting fans are able to actually watch their team in yeah. action. Still take part. Absolutely. And it's great to see so many good comments coming in as well. And you've been called out as well on the YouTube comments for your, your trash talking in your days. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm oh. not saying anything. I'll I'm not to, saying anything. I'll have to go back from these <laughs> comments and see who's, who's trash talking me in the comments. <laughs> but, um, but you know, it, like I say, it was all part of the game back in the day, and I tried to make it as fun as possible. Absolutely. 140 remaining, and Oakland's have now cut the deficit. It was 20, it's now been cut to 11. He's going to knock him AJ down. Split, yeah, splits the foul shots, but a 9-0 run at the moment for the Oakland's Wolves. Great momentum. Charlie Brown going inside, and now he'll go to the line for two. Both teams seemingly living at the foul yeah, line yeah, yeah. right this, now. This is going to be a long game. <laughs> But it's, you know, it plays into what I said about the time as well. Mm. When I mentioned the time, it was 152. They were down by 14. It's uh, you know, 11 point game now, and it's only one, one minute 30. And another miss this time from Charlie Brown. There'll be a lot of free throw shot during the, uh, the half time warm up, I believe. <laughs> They'll be shooting a little better from the foul line, but still around 55%. Oliver Stanley, another rebound. And Kane Daly comes up with it, and now the Wolves can push in transition. Nice, nice pass inside to Roberts. Great. There you go. I, I well, caught awareness there from Kane Daly. I didn't and think AJ he saw Roberts him. And AJ Roberts made no mistake. Yep, absolutely. I didn't think he saw him, but he found him, which was good. Gudemi. Here is Brown. Finds Conway. Final minutes of this first half here at Oakland's. Brown, stolen by Santiago. Oh. Great play from Jordan Santiago to try and keep the ball from going out of bounds, but unfortunately for him, it did. Yeah, yeah, just, just. And a timeout has been called by Coach Shaw of the Trailblazers, 50 seconds remaining. Oakland's aren't gonna go away. Absolutely, they've narrowed the deficit to, to just nine points, points so yeah. far, so you know, a good end of the f um, second quarter for the ch uh, for the Oakland Wolves. I think if you uh, if you go into the change rooms, you're down single digits, you're happy. You feel like you may be even tired at that point in time, even though you are still down. Um, lots of good things to talk about in terms of the press. They've got hit open shots, like we've mentioned, the free throws are still to be desired, but um, but they're, they're they're doing the right things to stay in the game. And that's something that you know Tom Baker will probably be telling his team. Uh, at half time, just shooting 46% from the free throw line at the moment. Um, they're shooting six for 13. However, they're getting the job done you know, in other ways of the court. They're shooting 44% from the field at this moment. A vast improvement on it, it was around 35% before yep. they went on their run. And that's, all, and that's all you really want. You want to see the ball go through the basket. Mm. Um, I think the more, whether it's free throws or, or, or field goals, the more baskets you make, the more confident you are as a team, and the more aggressive you become. The press is really helping that. There are two seconds to go on the shot clock here. 50 seconds remaining in the half, and Derby have two seconds to put a shot up, so it's quick inbound and just get a shot up. I think they'll go inside here. They're looking for Conway, they find him, and Conway couldn't get a shot off in time. Good defense from the Oakland's Wolves, forcing another turnover. Yeah. And now they can eat away at the deficit a little bit more with this offense. Here is Roberts. I'd like to see, uh, I'd like to see AJ or, or, or Jordan Santiago get a shot here. Um, you know, they could go two for one, but I think that time is running out. Roberts looking to go it alone, putting the moves on Stanley. Roberts inside, good defense from Stanley. And here come the Trailblazers. Charlie Brown has it. Brown finds Gudemi. Gudemi off the glass. Offensive foul call. James Excellent. Cummings getting his body in the way. It's the right time. That's what you've got to do. That's what you've got to do. Ensure yourself another shot um, at the other end, but stop them from scoring down here. It's a good sacrifice. 
And with 23.2 seconds remaining, Oakland's now can hold for the last shot of yeah, the quarter. So some good stops definitely. being made by this young team in very the final few minutes of the half. Very timely. Oh, don't turn it over. There, we go. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't really much pressure on Santiago as he was putting the ball in anyway. And rightfully so, AJ Roberts slowing it down. Final seconds nice. of this second quarter. Here is Santiago. Inside it goes to Cummings. Finish. Cummings on the spin, no good. Oh, yeah. On the follow, Daly, and another whistle has gone. I'm, uh, I'm trying not to referee over here. But <laughs> I'm seeing these fouls, but uh, they got it in the end. And Kane Daly will now go to the foul line for two. Kane Daly has split his only two free throws thus far, but uh, as we mentioned earlier, the uh, Wolves only shooting six for 13 from the foul line as Blake Bowman will take a seat. Dominic Prosper again taking a seat. Three point three seconds remaining in the first half, and another missed free throw for the Oakland Wolves. It's, uh, it's going to come back to bite them in the butt further down the line in this game if uh, if they can't make any free throws. Certainly something that uh, Tom Baker will be mentioning to his team as. Conway puts up a long three to end the half, but it's no good. And that ends a rather scrappy first half of action here at Oakland's Walls with both teams seemingly living yes. at the foul yeah. line. But it is the Derby Trailblazers who at one point led by 20 points, but they hold a 46-37 lead over the Oakland's Wolves at the half. Yeah, no, it's, uh, Oakland's have done a tremendous job. Um, that, that final two or three minutes uh, of the second you know, applied the pressure, really dug their heels in, got some good turnovers, easy looks at the basket. Um, and, and like you say, here we are, 46 37. Jacob Conway leading all scorers with 15 points, four for nine shooting, but six of those points have come from the foul line thus far. Jordan Santiago, the high man for the Oakland Wolves, he has nine points. AJ Roberts has eight. Um, I think this is what we expect. Um, I think I'd like to see uh, for Derby, I'd like to see Malcolm uh, you know, getting in there a bit more, but I think their score is quite spread right now. Um, you know, Oakland have a few guys that can knock down shots um, and, and hopefully we'll find their confidence more that will kind of support uh, Santiago and, and, uh, and Roberts uh, down the line. But to be honest with you, I would just like to see either Santiago or Roberts kind of just dominate the ball a bit more. I really put the pressure on uh, the Derby defense, then kick out to find their shooters or guys to re-attack. Uh, that'll make it a lot easier for the scoring for Oakland, I think. And as you can see, uh, myself and Courtney having to battle the uh, the, the curtain here. It's, um, it's formidable. It's formidable, isn't it, right <laughs> now? We are having, we have had internet issues to start uh, this game, but we are relying at the moment on a, a 4G connection from outside, which is the reason you can see us at the moment, but. Because of that, it is very windy here today, so please bear with us if you can. It is half time at Oakland's College. The Derby Trailblazers lead 46 to 37. And we'll be back in around 10 minutes' time.
So Slam Jam, it's a new initiative by Basketball England, targeted at 7 to 11 year olds. It's about getting the children to, to have fun, to link basketball with a fun experience so that we can get lifelong involvement in the sport. And it's really focused on engagement and a fun, positive first experience. So it's not so much about the skill development side of basketball. It's really just about giving people a positive first experience of basketball. They're having fun, they're with their friends. They can develop at their own pace in their own time. So it's really developing on coordination, core strength, as well as basketball skills. So there's not necessarily basketball specific games, but they've got basketballs thrown in there. So they'll be they're working on dribbling, shooting, passing in a less structured environment than like a training session. And it's yeah, just focused on fun and getting primary school age children engaged. When they come to the first slam jam session, they get a t-shirt which they can keep. Each primary school they get some Slam Jam basketballs and then a little goodie bag that the children can take home. And another thing throughout the session, if we see like someone doing really good at a certain skill or teamwork or being just nice and friendly to other people, they can get stickers. Good practice and sportsmanship as well as being good at the skills. So I think the reason this program is different is that there's a 12 week curriculum and there's different things to work on. And obviously as a coach you can kind of chop and change a little bit as is appropriate for the age group that you're teaching but it just means that everybody's getting that same fun first positive experience literally we're just trying to get them to have positive experiences with basketball so that later on they can be maybe even just a supporter of the game go online get in touch with basketball england they can also search sam jam for the local centers to them that run the initiative and they can inquire and maybe even get a coach to come in and run a 12-week session Semi-final by 12 points and move through to the gold medal game. They're guaranteed a medal here. Welcome back to Oakland's College, where it is the Oakland's Wolves who trail the Derby Trailblazers 46 to 37. John Hobbs alongside Courtney Van Beest. Courtney, welcome. Yesterday, we, um, well, I was just down the road at the uh, Sports Village at the University of Hertfordshire, where we watched the Hemel Storm narrowly defeat the Reading Rockets 82-80, a really closely fought contest that was decided in the final seconds. Amazing game. Um, you know, it was. Oh. Are we all right? Our mics. Sorry, sorry, I, I, oh, I, I, mic's thought, on? I, thought, I thought someone was saying <laughs> that there was a problem. Sorry, I kind of got caught up. Uh, but no, amazing. Stop staring at the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> no, amazing game. Um, 
Hamill did amazingly to come back. Mm. Uh, they hit some really timely shots. Uh, the defense was, was, was pretty good. They were you know, really pushing the ball. They really found their rhythm in the second half, I think it was. Um, okay, so the pictures are apparently live oh. <laughs> of the game. <laughs> We're, this is another issue of the uh, the internet, okay, ladies and gentlemen. So um, there, we are looking, you are looking at pictures. We were not yeah, at yeah. the time. But you can see is the highlights of the uh, the game <laughs> unfolding as we see Bodhi Adalola with a three-pointer on the first quarter buzzer. But uh, yeah, as mentioned, as you said, Courtney, a, a great game of basketball to watch as we see Chuck Duru who... Um, had a really solid game for the Rockets, but Rockets led for the majority of this ball game. And as we see here, Mike Williams, who put in a long three there. And then Chuck, former, former, former Hemel Storm Chuck. Absolutely, I love Chuck. yeah. He works so hard. He's a great player. Um, but no, it was great to watch. Uh, from the perspective of a, of a fan, just seeing that, that kind of the game go back and forth. Uh, for me, knowing a few of the guys and knowing what it would have meant to kind of win a close game like that was mm. really big. Um, but you did. Uh, there was a series, I think Levi hit a corner three um, that was really big for the team, to maybe to end the first half, I believe. Yeah. There were some really big shots in the fourth, and I, I, could, I could tell by the, by the end of the third, I could tell it would go down to the wire. And there is that three-pointer from Levi Knoll, as we can see there, stringing it from downtown. Oh, Sean Williams also having a big game as well, and inside Sam Tolawasi, physical player. Again, a big game for the Reading Rockets. Huge for them. They all, they all, uh, they, they bring it. I, I, I like Reading because they, they play tough. Um, they've got great inside presence with, uh, with Leon Francis and with obviously Samuel Tolawasi and then great outside shooting as well. Um, and some really good guard play to be fair. Mm. Uh, and then Hemel just, just solid all around. They've got really good guys. Kind of like what you mentioned before, having that guy that can kind of play the four or the five. I feel like Teo can mix it up inside, mm. but he's a great perimeter player, um, really good. Uh, and then obviously having guys like Alexander um, Williams as well, and then uh, I think Afizi as well. Toyo, yeah, Teo Lafusi, yeah, absolutely, who you know, won the game for the Storm with that three-pointer that we'll see in, in just a second. And... Uh, Teo, as we see there, Bodhi Adalola going off the screen, getting it to go, and the foul. Just a great game of basketball. And I've shown Williams, who's you know almost an MVP candidate. Okay, Reading, you know, uh, languishing near the uh, bottom half of the, uh, the the table at the moment, but you know, such a big performance. I've shown Williams played yeah. all 40 minutes once more. Yeah, um, for the Rockets. That's something he's been doing most of the season. Um, and then just hitting big shot after big shot uh, is what they really need from him. And talk um, about big shots. That was the big shot right there from yeah. Teo Alafusi that essentially won the game for the Hemel Storm. And you can see the players crowding around Alafusi yeah, yeah. as well. There was actually a, a moment, not many people know this, but I was speaking to uh, one of the... Um, board members for the Hemel Storm, who was actually saying to me that she was trying to get the Hemel players back to the bench unless the referee uh, calls a technical on, yeah, on the, yeah, uh, the team that was very close to, apparently. But that's, uh, that's thankfully, they got back to the bench quick enough. That's something that you risk. Um, it's, it's those are always great moments. You hit a big shot, a game winner, or even if it's just, just to end the quarter or, you know, whatever it might be, everyone kind of gets riled up and they, they leave their seats. And it's, it's, it's a great feeling, but for the game, it kind of disrupts everything and you've got to stop the game or, you know, whatever it is. And so, yeah, you've got to be really careful because the last thing you want is a technical foul. Mm. They get a free throw possession and, and that, that impacts the game, you know. Absolutely. And as we uh, get ready to start the third quarter, of course, during this pandemic, a lot of uh, things are, are, have come up. And one of them has been a very important movement, the Black Lives Matter movement. Of course, uh, a number of, in fact, all NBL teams and across not just basketball, but sport in general have, have taken the knee, have come out on social media and have spoken about their racial uh, injustice and want a fight for equality. Players like Ishmael Fontaine, Brendan Okoronkwo have been very strong on this movement, as have many other players as well. And you yourself, Courtney, you, you have you know, been very vocal on social media, rightfully so, as we continue to have these uncomfortable conversations. 
and we continue, me, myself, continue to learn or try to learn more uh, about this movement. In your own words, what, what can you tell us about you know, your own experiences and what you hope in the future? Um, I think I'll start with my hopes. Uh, and I really just hope that that standard of equality, which I understand is very difficult to achieve, um, because it's about finding a balance. Are you overdoing it? Um, you know, is it is it performative, or, or do you really want there to be that 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 coexistence um, racially, um, and just just better experiences for the younger generations? To be fair, it's um it's it's, it's been difficult difficult for my generation, the generations before me. Um, and I think for the younger generations, just to have the opportunities to really be able to excel in any department, whether it's sport, uh, you know, business, finance, ed education, wherever it may be, to have those fair opportunities um, and to not be assessed necessarily by the, the, you know, the tone of their skin um, or their name you know, as well, which is, is often uh, the case, um, and really get an opportunity to show who they are and to showcase what they can do. Mm. Um, I mean, in terms of experiences, you know, I've had a fair few uh, which haven't been great. Um, not necessarily in sport, which has been good. I'm glad for that. Um, but socially, um, in the education setting, some very negative experiences. Um, I just put it down to a learning curve, really, um, to the way that society is currently and, and, and what I've got to do to kind of to be able to thrive and maintain. Um, as you see, Oakland's hit a big shot, which yeah. is great for them to start the quarter. Uh, the, the, the thing is, is you, know, you shouldn't have to go through those through those experiences ever as a, a tip in there from AJ Roberts. Oakland's on fire right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm trying to hide. Either way, and, and, and it's shown throughout, and you know, even Oakland's Wolves, you know, have Black Lives Matter on the back of their vest. Solent Kestrels have um, United, not divided, on their warm-up yeah, jerseys. Yeah. Worthing Thunder have had Black Lives Matter um, jerseys that they have worn sporadically through the season and yeah. those kits have actually been auctioned off I, I and love they've, the been, jerseys, they've been yeah. really successful as well so you know hopefully basketball england and the players and everyone involved can just contribute to that fight towards e equality and we just have to continue having those uncomfortable conversations and just um hopefully we can get to that level very soon. very soon. I think the biggest part is showing that everyone stands together. Mm. Like you say, multiple teams, uh, both in basketball and in other sports, um, kind of coming together, whether it's via the jerseys or, or you know, what they put out on social media. Mm. Um, it's obviously a huge thing in America, so it, it's kind of dominated American yeah. sports, um, and rightly so. And I think, provided everyone shows that they're working alongside each other, I think it's very difficult to dictate equality because it's it's again it's where is it where does that quality come from? How do you generate it naturally? Mm. It's tricky, mm. um, but I think showing that everybody's on side and is trying to understand uh, is a, is the biggest part of the fight, really. Absolutely, yeah. And as a, a white person myself, I'll never understand you know, what you've gone through, what other black people have gone through. But we do, as I do, we all do stand with you guys as we fight for equality not just in this sport but across the world as uh, we come back into this game and the gap is now two points with 847 remaining it was uh, I, I wasn't sure if it was, it was a necessary segue but uh, we were talking about the, the, the fight <laughs> this for was it was an important thing we were speaking yeah, about so yeah. I think we can be uh, forgiven just this once okay we, uh, we were talking <laughs> about the fight for equality as Oakland Absolutely. were fighting their way back into the game and here they are down two and speaking uh, of as you say rightfully said you know we, we fight for equality but at the moment the Oakland's Wolves are fighting to get back into the lead they've narrowed the gap to just two points Matt Shaw calling a quick timeout not even two minutes have gone yeah. in this third period thus far but what a start by the Oakland's Wolves and as we uh, enter the timeout of course you know, lots of action going on this weekend and we were in Hem. We were just down the road yesterday for Hemel Reading, but one record that has gone over two years, 63 NBL teams, the Thames Valley Cavaliers ending a huge streak in the Solent Kestrels. I've been involved in this sport for over 20 years. I don't think I've ever seen uh, a run like this. And I've seen you know, the Teesside Mohawks', Mohawks yeah, yeah. Um, championship winning runs with you know, players like Jason Swain, Ralph Bucci, EJ Harrison. Reading's 36 and 0 record. Yes. Nothing yeah, yeah. is comparing to Solon. No, nothing at all. And, and their dominance kind of it expanded from the NBL mm. into the BBL as well, making a tremendous run. Um, obviously, they ended up losing in the finals to Newcastle, but 
It is so their dominance, really. Um... Santiago gets it to go, Oof. and a foul, and the Wolves have tied the game at 46. He's hype. I like it. I like it. We're going to see a game now. Everyone's believing we've knocked down shots, we've made stops. Um, and so the Oaklands have come ready to play in the third quarter, which is what I was really looking forward to. And I think the fans are going to love it as well. Absolutely. If you've joined us on the Basketball England YouTube channel, welcome. You're hey. seeing a ball game right now, not even two minutes in this third quarter. And the Wolves have come back from 20 points down and have tied the game. And Jordan Santiago has a chance to give Oaklands their first lead of this game. But he is a 66% foul shooter. But he there makes no mistake from the makes foul line. Makes it true here. Makes it true here. AJ Roberts just gave me the nod as well, which means it's time. <laughs> it's time. It's time. Everyone knows what that nod means. <laughs> um, so I'm really looking forward to, this, to how this game goes in the third. Malcolm Smith, Smith who hasn't aggressive. actually scored yet. But Roberts with the rebound. Here comes Roberts. All the momentum with the Wolves right now. Good patience. Daly, Santiago, gets Charlie Brown jumping for joy, gets it to go again, and a foul. That's crazy. You might be right. Jordan Santiago says they can't guard me. And, and I've seen no lies so far. Right now, Santiago sitting on 13 points. And check that, 14 points. And he's going to go back to the line. And the Oakland Wolves have raced out to a 10-0 start to this third period. Unfortunate for free throw, but three-point lead to start the third. But there was a period where everything was dropping for the Trailblazers. Now it's for the Oakland Wolves. Definitely. Brown finds Stanley inside too strong. He wanted a foul, nothing doing. And you can just see they're more intense. They're together defensively. Daly going inside. No good. Cummings, big rebound. Again, offensive boards. It's day and night. The game's really changed here. You can see the pace just changing a little bit as well. Yeah. And a technical on Tom Baker. A much-needed bit of relief there for the Trailblazers. Definitely. Tom Baker just a little too animated on the bench. Yeah. And referee John Letitia calling the technical. I wonder what he was asking for. I feel like the quarter's gone his way so far. Absolutely, yeah. Sure what else you need right now. Malcolm Smith misses the free throw. Both teams really struggling from the foul line in this game. There's got to be something in the air, surely. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a, a, a poor uh, free throw attempts uh, with, between both teams in the game. Bowman. Blake Bowman finds Smith inside. What a pass from Blake Bowman. Only, only a special kind of player can find a pass like that. He's on the left side of the floor. He's up in the air. He's come across his body. And he's hit Malcolm with, with a right-handed pass under the basket. A lot of talking between Ugo and Santiago. Santiago finds a bit of room. He's short with his three. Ooh. There's a scramble by the free throw line. And now both teams getting into it. It's getting very animated here at the moment. I tell you what, if you were thinking it was going to be a, <laughs> a, an easy one on a Sunday afternoon, you oh, were wrong. Absolutely. This is fiery. This is like a Friday night game. But it, it comes down to this, you know, the Trailblazers who led huge in the second period. Yeah. And the Oakland Wolves who throughout the season, okay, they have a losing record, but have shown tremendous fight in Definitely. all of their games, yeah. have shown tremendous fight right here. And you know, they now lead by one with 7.08 remaining in the third. A lot of basketball still to play, mind, yeah. and obviously it, this is a game of runs, but Oakland's are making their intentions known. Definitely. And a double unsportsmanlike foul. One of them was on Jordan Santiago. I wasn't quite sure who the uh, one was on the Derby Trailblazers side. I thought he said five for both sides, but he might have said three. I would imagine okay. it would have been three. That's a second foul on Santiago. And assistant coach Ibrahim Gariba, in fact, he's been ejected from the game. Oh, man. That's Jordan not, Santiago has been ejected from the game. That's not what you need. That's not what you need. Not the way you started the third. I was just trying to make sure where I was sitting, I couldn't quite see what exactly David Griffin, the referee, was 
was doing. I thought an unsportsmanlike foul was called. Yeah. However, I think he called it twice on Santiago. Oh. Um, I'm not sure. I need some clarification on that. Unfortunately, due to the yeah. social distancing laws, we can't really I don't, I don't know if we're gonna get have it. a chance to, to look at it properly. But either way you look at it. Oh, we're being told to. There's so much confusion going on here. But I'm one thing we do know, Jordan Santiago has been ejected from the game. You saw Ibrahim Gariba, yeah. the assistant coach, trying to, trying to reason with Santiago and just pushing him away, yeah, trying yeah. to get him to the locker room. So from my understanding, there were two unsportsmanlike like fouls called. Uh, one for either team, which means they cancelled out. Right. And Derby would have taken the ball back because it was a jump ball. Uh, but yeah, it seems like maybe Santiago... And an offensive foul called Charlie Brown getting a bit too physical there. With, I think that was Oliver Wright. It was yeah, Oliver, was Oliver Wright. Wright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can just see though the tempers from both teams are just flaring just oh, a little yeah, bit yeah. here. No one, no one, no one's giving up. No one's letting it down. What a game you're looking at on the Boxball England YouTube channel. Tell your friends to tell a friend if they're not watching. Tune in. AJ he's Roberts, right for three. Oh, Oliver he's feeling Wright it. He's feeling it, down. it. He's feeling it. <laughs> it only takes one shot. And he's playing defense now. He's getting Absolutely. his hands in. Oberia, who came into the game very quietly there. Hey. AJ Roberts looking for a big block on Malcolm Smith. Maybe yeah. a bit too over enthusiastic because the yeah, foul has yeah. been called. He's looking for those big blocks. He's looked for a couple of those. And it hasn't mm. gone his way. Um, I think that might be his, it's his fourth foul. It's unfortunate. And that's the thing, you know, we were speaking in the first quarter how, you know, and I think you touched on the fact that there was a lot of fouls being called and you were touching on the fact that when this game progresses, that could spell trouble for either team. And yeah. so far, we're actually seeing it right now. Yeah. Very early stages of the third quarter. Bowman on the spin oh and throws it down. The spin cycle and slam? Blake Bowman's acting different right now. I'm not quite sure where that came from, but he's not happy. Blake Bowman just exploding to the hoop there. That dunk was unreasonable. Is there a timeout? Is there not a timeout? Everyone's confused right now. I think Absolutely. There's so much going that, on right that, now. That spin and slam has confused everyone. The shot clock stopped working. <laughs> As you can see, I think the referees are trying to get... Jordan Santiago, who was actually by the entrance oh, of right, the right. venue, I think they were waiting for him to actually leave. And general manager of Oakland's Wolves, Dave Ryan, now escorting Jordan Santiago away. But what a play from Blake Bowman just out of nowhere. That came out of nowhere. Roberts. Roberts now will go to the foul line for two. Yeah. And he's, he's going to look to pick up where Santiago left off, I think, offensively. He's going to keep being aggressive, get into the line. Just doing what he can to keep his team in the game. Hey, Beniki will come back into the game. James Cummings, who has defensively been such a positive force for the Oakland's Wolves. He'll take a seat as A.J. Roberts goes to the foul line. A.J. Roberts now on 11 points on four for nine shooting. Has six rebounds to go with those points. Yeah, he's going to look to do whatever he can to put his name on this game. I think a few more rebounds. Hopefully no more fouls. Um, and just, and just piling up the points. Keep his team in, in, in the lead. But as you say, A.J. Roberts on four fouls right now as well. Exactly. So he has to be really careful. Derby will look to exploit that all they can. Of course. Conway. Finds Smith inside to Stanley. Great play from Oliver Stanley. The gap is two. As we enter the halfway point of what has been an explosive third quarter. Oh, you had him. You've got to go, go to the rack there. You have to keep going. They don't foul trouble. Conway. Conway was looking for a step back three. In fact, yeah, that runs it. into trouble. Here is Stanley. Stanley kicks it out to Blake Bowman. Bowman on the turnaround, no good. Inside it goes to Stanley, and he puts it in on the follow. And the game is tied yet again at 54. Just too many bodies down there for Derby. Three or four guys going to the offensive glass every time. 
Roberts, acres of space, makes calls no it mistake. Pulls it up from distance. That's a long distance phone call right there. Oberia putting the moves Why? on Roberts, and he's going to go to the foul line. But so far, 20 at nearly 42. Well, this will be 43, 44 three throws in total so far. We're just getting on to the halfway point of the third period. That is unreal. And still collectively, both teams shooting poorly. I think that was, uh, that was AJ's fifth. So It is, yes. AJ Roberts will now take a seat. He is out of the game. You know, halfway through the third quarter, and the Oakland's Wolves have lost... They're two leading yeah, yeah. scorers. They've yeah, lost yeah. Santiago and they've lost Roberts. As Oberia makes no mistake and Tom Baker calls a timeout. And we speak about the youth. We speak about you know, the, the future of this Oakland Wolves franchise. They need to step up now. Yeah, now it's, it's, now now it's the time. Now it's, you know, we, you know, we spoke to, um, you were speaking, or AJ Roberts was talking to you and Santiago was saying it's go time and everything else. Now those two players are out of the game. Roberts has fouled out. Santiago ejected. You know, the Trailblazers have the advantage. They're down by one mind, but they are firmly, you know, in the driving seat as far as this game progresses go. But the Oakland's Wolves really need to, Look to that talent, that youth talent, yeah. to get them into this game and to hopefully secure a win for them. Well, I think I think the uh, you know I think the recipe's been put on the table. They know what they need to do. Uh, the pressure works well for them. They've hit open shots. Uh, Derby right now are in foul trouble, so if they can keep going to the basket, they'll just keep them at bay um, and let the fourth quarter be what it is. But as you say, Derby right now, they've got the bodies. Um, they're still at full strength. They haven't mm. lost anybody yet. And um, and they've got a few guys that are yet to get going. Um, so I think with AJ mm. out, with, uh, with Jordan Santiago out, we might see, start to see you know, the Malcolm step up. Blake Bowman's obviously come Absolutely, through with a yeah. tremendous slam dunk. And I'm sure he's going to look to get a few more now that the bigger names for Oakland's are out of the way. And Malcolm Smith only shooting one for seven from the field. Only has two points. Yeah. But has five rebounds, two, um, two assists and a steal to go with that. Yeah, and he'll really look to start going now. Uh, there's, there's not going to be much resistance in the middle. Um, and I, I imagine he'll start to try and pile up the points. Here is Daly. Corporate. Egbeniki. Offensive foul call, just getting his body in the way yeah, of Malcolm yeah. Smith. And Malcolm Smith taking the charge. He played that right. So much of the, the youth, the Oakland's Wolves Youth Academy on the floor and on the bench right now. I mean, you can, you can look at it one of two ways. Today's game is going to be a very tricky one now. You know, they've, they've lost their two leaders. But this is great experience for young guys. Five young guys on the floor playing an NBL one against tremendous competition in Derby Trailblazers. Um, like you say, you've got Blake Bowman going off to a, you know, a top school in America next year. Uh, and some really good talent. You know, Malcolm Smith comes from America. Conway, really tremendously talented young player. This is going to be a great game for them, a great experience for them. The Wolves pressing and a foul called there as uh, Seth Wiley just a little too Wiley. enthusiastic. Excuse me. 4.33 remaining in the third period. And Derby now with a chance with Blake Bowman at the line, a chance to tie the game and take the lead. And Blake Bowman makes no mistake with his first. Of course, we uh, mentioned Blake Bowman committing to an NCAA Division I school next year, the University of Missouri, Kansas City, a big-time college there. You know, and Blake Bowman has shown flashes, uh, that dunk uh, especially, of what he is capable of and what he will bring to the table. Yeah, definitely. And it's that kind of athleticism, the pace he plays with, mm. that is really going to bode him well when he goes over to the States. Because uh, that is just the style of play uh, that they have in, in you know, college. Someone else on their fourth. 
Absolutely, yeah. I was just thinking that as well. Yeah, as um, Ronald Aberia will take a C. Yeah, but we said, let's find, you know, the fouls are racking up. Both teams in foul trouble, half the quarter left to go. Um, but we're going to start seeing some bodies dropping. Well, absolutely. We've already seen two Oakland Wolves players leave the game. If you've just joined us on the Basketball England YouTube channel, welcome. What an explosive third quarter we have witnessed here at Oakland's College as Obi Ukaniki makes the, the free throws. And it's, it's been a, an explosive third period as Blake Bowman breaks the trap, goes all the way, dishes off the pot. Oh, what a block there from Egbeniki. And now the Wolves can push in transition. And a steal, Blake Bowman recovers. Yeah, you really got to take it up there and just let it be what it is. You know, you get fouled, you score, maybe both. And Conway makes no mistake in transition for the Trailblazers. And the Trailblazers now take a 60 to 58 lead with 3.55 remaining in the third. Good find. Kateri inside, no Unlucky. good. Rebound by Gudemi. Bowman. Finds Gudemi again, back to Bowman. Inside to Stanley. Stanley off the glass, too strong. Rebound Cummings. Oakland's got, you know, they've got to run, they've got to push the pace now. Good. Inside it goes, off the glass is good for Kane Daly. And that's exactly it, that's exactly it. The game is tied again at 60. Conway going inside, Conway too strong. Ball goes out of bounds. Smart play Very from smart. Ahmed Kaderi. Very smart. I'm not sure if the referees have decided to let it go a bit more. You can see the physicality, though, on both ends yeah, of the really floor. Good. And both teams starting to, to feel it. You can see Jacob Conway just right by where we are, just grimacing a little bit. Yeah. Three minutes left in this third period. Here is Daly. Kateri. Goes for three okay. and puts it All in. Right, and Ahmed Kateri from downtown. And he shot that with confidence. That's what you want. Conway and blocked by Kateri, but a foul is called. I think we could have let that one go. You could see the frustration on Kateri's face. Yeah. He thought he got the block in, but uh, too much of the player, says the referee. And Jacob Conway will go to the line. You can see Jacob Conway really just... Feeling it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he might have taken a bit a misstep maybe on the way mm. to the basket. Lots of comments on the uh, the YouTube channel. So it should be especially on Blake Blake Bowman's dunk as well, right. which almost got you out of your seat. I, I nearly turned into a, <laughs> into a spectator. I would have, you know, I didn't want to break any equipment. <laughs> Conway makes both. Just keep the comments coming. Great to see so many people tuning in to this absolutely cracking encounter here at Oakland's College. Here is Daly. Good defense there from Conway. Yeah. Cummings. Good. Cummings on the spin. And Charlie Brown with the rebound. Here is Bowman. Bowman going inside. Yeah, yeah. And another foul has been called, and Blake Bowman will go to the foul line. I think both teams have realized that there's, uh, there's foul trouble both sides, so they, they're literally just going as hard and as fast as they can to the, the rack. Mm. Nearly 45 fouls have been called <laughs> so far in this game. We still have another quarter to yeah, play yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As Blake Bowman misses the the free throw. I tell you what, though, while both teams are, you know, shooting averagely, I guess, is it, to put it nicely from the free throw line, there's no reason why you shouldn't foul. Mm. You know, you, it, Absolutely, might, it might work yeah. in your favor. Both teams, though, definitely now shooting over 50% from the foul line. Oh, that's, that's a plus. So that's something, I guess. <laughs> Cummings. Finds Kateri again on the catch and okay. shoot. Back to back, back threes to back. for Ahmed Kateri. And the Lethal Wolves weapon. now. Back the, to back. Absolutely. The Wolves now lead by three. Conway, acres of space. Long. Egbeniki with the rebound. 
Nice. Daily. Change of pace, Going change of direction. Way. Partially blocked. Oh. What have we got? That was Kadimi with the, uh, the, the block, and a whistle has gone. I thought they called the foul late, but it was, it was for the out of bounds. Yep. Uh oh. This might be bad. Bowman. This might be bad. Okay. Bowman going inside. Easy layup for Blake Bowman. Could have ended opting, a lot worse. Opting for the score rather than the uh, highlight the reel highlight, dunk. Yeah. Could have ended a lot worse for Oakland. One twenty-three remaining in the third quarter. That's and it Smith with the rebound there, and another whistle has gone. Higbaniki with the foul, and Malcolm Smith will go to the foul line. Smith, an 81% foul shooter, and both, well, all players really getting their free throw stats up yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be happy to see these free throws as well. Hasn't had too many field goal attempts. Um, hasn't seen the ball go through the basket too many times. So he'll be happy to see this. But I'm glad. I think, I think the Oakland's Wolves boys have done really well. You know, they've made this a competitive third quarter without their two main guys. Uh, still a lot of time to go, but it bodes well for them. They're playing at this standard right now. Malcolm Smith misses the first foul shot. Smith in his third season with the Derby Trailblazers. Spent a couple of seasons with Team Northumbria when they were in the uh, National Basketball League. Great club run by Mark Stuttel. Absolutely. Amazing coach. Of course, uh, Mark Stuttel, who um, led Great Britain to qualification yes. to Eurobasket as well. I was going to say the Wolves have to get it over the timeline. Here is Wright. Too strong. Goes Gets again. his own rebound, though. Yep. Blocked by Malcolm Smith, but another whistle has gone. And see Malcolm Smith expression on his face he thought that was a clean yeah block I, I think they wanted the eight second violation then they wanted the clean block they could have got either mm. uh referee said it otherwise i'm really liking the way this young man is playing right now he's hit a couple of shots in the first half he's really come out confident uh, and he's playing aggressively in the third the foul was on Malcolm Smith. So Malcolm Smith now sits on four fouls. If it keeps going this way, John, me and you will have to suit I up. was going to say, um, and no one wants to see me play. I think <laughs> a lot of people wouldn't mind seeing you play again. Not well, me, though. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's been a while. A lot, a, lot, a lot's changed. It won't be how they remember. Final minute. Even, even John Letizia might have to play. <laughs> even, even referee John Letizia with a wry smile. To Courtney Van Beest, I think he even wants to see you on the court. Uh, he loves seeing me play basketball. <laughs> I'm his favourite, he tells me all the time. <laughs> Just like uh, Roger Harrison has his favourite in David Tintin Watts. But either yeah, way, yeah. final 45 seconds. Kateri, shot Ooh. clock winding down. Big rebound from Oliver That's Wright. Football, yeah. And I think a foot violation has been called. So the Wolves get the ball back. Shot clock will be reset to 14. This is, the, uh, this is the kind of game that if you tuned in at the start of the third quarter and didn't look at the score, you'd think Oakland's robbed by quite a lot of points. Big rebound by Kateri. He puts it in as well. And that's why. That's why. They're getting second chances now. They're hitting long-distance shots. They've made some free throws. They're playing really good defense. Inside to Stanley. Partially blocked by Kateri as he was going to the dunk. Shot clock turned off, so Oakland's can hold it for the last shot. Three on the way. Aye. No good. Oh, oh. That was from Seth Wiley. And it goes out of bounds. So 6.6 .6 seconds remaining. Derby will get the final shot of this third quarter. A third quarter that even me and you have not been able to keep up oh. with. Another turnover. Oakland's will get possession back. 4.8 seconds left. So they will now get the final I, I, shot. I was going to say, John, you jinxed them again. You've jinxed them again. <laughs> You've promised them a final <laughs> shot. They've turned it over within uh, 0.2 seconds. It's a struggle just to keep up with the play right now. No, honestly. Right. Final seconds. Puts up a two. It's short. And that ends probably one of the most entertaining third quarters this season, yeah. Oakland's Wolves, 
who lost Jordan Santiago and AJ Roberts in quick succession to start the third period. AJ yeah. Roberts fouled out, Santiago um, ejected, ejected yeah, yeah. still lead the Derby Trailblazers 69 66. What a third period that is. There's so many incidents that have happened that we've not even mentioned them on commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been absolutely incredible. Obi Enigba, and, uh, and <laughs> I can't even keep up anymore. Egbeniki has been fouled out as well for the Oakland Wolves. That was something that we didn't touch on. I'll be honest, I didn't even know. Exactly. <laughs> everything that's been happening, and that's no disrespect not at all, to the not good at all. man himself. Because he'd had a good game up until that Absolutely, point. had a great game. As we uh, mentioned as well, so AJ Roberts fouled out. Obi Egbeniki fouled out for the Wolves. Jordan Santiago ejected from this game. So many talking points, but Oakland's Wolves have come from behind and now lead the Trailblazers after three quarters. Yeah. Well, like I said, the blueprint is there. You know, they've applied pressure. Uh, they've hit open shots. They've been aggressive. And those are things you can do with or without your main guy. If the main guy's been there, you know, it gives you that extra push because you've got someone you can rely on. But they've got guys that can knock down shots. They've got guys that are going to give their all and play defense. And that's all you really need to be in the game. As we get ready to start the final quarter of action, I can confirm that AJ Roberts has definitely fouled out of this game. There's a few comments on the YouTube channel that say he hasn't fouled out. He has definitely fouled out. No, I definitely caught that fifth on the reach. Absolutely, yeah, caught that, um, that fifth foul in transition. So Oakland's relying on their youth, and so far, the youth have repaid that favor to Tom Baker and lead by three as we definitely. enter what promises to be an exciting fourth period as we try and catch our breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 still trying, I'm still stuck on the Blake Bowman. Like, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Everything else has been a bit of an afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll see. We'll see what the fourth brings. So fast paced. I've not even been able to keep up. It's been absolutely entertaining stuff. Credit to these two teams. Here is Cummings. Right for three. Right knocks down a triple. He's feeling it. He is feeling it. Four three-pointers for Oliver Wright. You could say he wanted to put things right after the last time they played. You've been speaking too much to Toes and Oil, Lisa. You have. <laughs> Charlie Brown. Oh, Malcolm Smith, mid-range jumper, loves that mid-range, does Malcolm Smith, and that's why. He's definitely going to be aggressive in the fourth. Uh, you know, put them back in this game, hopefully give them the lead uh, for Derby. Good communication from Oakland here as well. They're all talking offensively, um, even defensively as well. Kateri for three. Wow, I thought he had it. And here is Ugo. And Ugo will just slow it down for the Trailblazers. Inside to Stanley, aggressive from Oliver Stanley, and he's going to go back to the line for two shots. And that's one of those fouls that I would say is a good foul. You don't want to give up two there. Uh, he hasn't shot very well from the free throw line at all. Uh, you've got to hope you've got some fouls you can give. Absolutely. Um, you know, three for seven from the foul line tonight, Oliver Stanley, but a double-double of 11 points, 14 rebounds. And well, he makes, makes, the, uh, makes the first free throw. Derby as a team shooting 21 of 34 from the foul line, 60, around the 60% mark. It's better than they started. Splits a pair of free throws. Cummings on the floor gets the rebound. Never seen a rebound like that before. <laughs> <laughs> but hats off to him. He's, he's hustling. He's hustling. Oh, good. Good. Daly. Inside it goes to Kateri. Kateri, nice footwork Flicks inside. It up. Nice. Oh, he's talking now as well. He's getting in the game. I like it. What a game of basketball this has been. Here is Stanley. Stanley thought about the jump shot. Instead goes on the spin, finds some room, misses the layup. Mm. Kateri out-wrestles Malcolm Smith for the rebound. And here is Daly. He's going to call his own number now. I can see it. And he's done a... 
not a bad job to get yeah, in losing absolutely. the ball at the end. Daly lost the ball as he was going for the layup. Here is Ugo. Brown wide open for three. Long Cummings with the rebound. That's Cummings' fifth rebound of the game. Ooh, ooh, and Kateri with, the with the handles. Kateri going all the way. An open three-pointer for That's Seth Wiley, but it's no good. This Kateri is impressing me. He's showing me a little bit of everything today. Conway finds Malcolm Smith. Yep. Smith turns Cummings and one. And that'll be James Cummings' fourth foul. As Blake Bowman will take a seat. So many players on four fouls at the moment. Yeah, start getting warmed up. In our time soon. And still a lot of uh, comments on the uh, Basketball England YouTube channel regarding AJ Roberts' <laughs> situation at the moment. On the live stats for us, it does have him down as five fouls. But apparently, to, according to a few others, it has four fouls. I, I can't actually comment on that, being uh, honestly truthful with any, any one of our viewers right now. Yeah, it's tough to say. I, um, I mean, I, I'd, I'd imagine, you know, Coach obviously feels the same that he's fouled out. And the unfortunate thing is, and, you know, this is the thing with the pandemic right now, is we are not actually allowed to, to communicate yeah, with yeah. Um, table officials or officials as openly as we usually were allowed to. As Kateri goes inside, gets it to go. I think he was looking for the he dunk. He was, he was. He was looking for the dunk. And um, a travel has been called on Charlie Brown as Ronald Aberia was going for the score. Referee John Letitia in good position there to call that travel. Charlie Brown a bit stunned there. I don't think he's expecting that. What a game of basketball this has been. Oh, so man. many talking points. Here is Wright. And now another whistle has gone. I'm not going to lie, I'm not even sure what that whistle is, is, is to be honest right now. Shot clock, scoreboard. Yeah, I, I think, think yeah, we've got a problem with the shot clock at the moment. It's now been reset back to 14 and... Rub it out, eh? Here is Wright. Wright putting the moves on Brown, going inside. Kateri fighting with Smith. He's in there, he's in there, he's hustling. It's a battle under the basket, and, and Kateri the... gets it. Hey, he's, he's having himself a game. He's having himself a game. Ooh. Blake Bowman now, going all the way. Gets it to go, and a foul. And the Trailblazers now trail by four. 78-74 with 6.44 remaining. Still plenty of time. Lots of basketball to be played. But so many talking points, yeah, Courtney. Yeah, we, you yeah. know, we were, was just about to mention it before... Um, the travel was called so many talking points in this game. And obviously, if you've just joined us on the Basketball England YouTube channel, welcome. Get your comments in. Any other talking points that we can uh, highlight? Let's get them in. I'm sure Courtney will answer them all. I was. <laughs> I, I, I'm not even too sure how you're looking at the comments, if I'm honest with you. Every time I blink, something happens. A barrier. Good find. Inside to Smith. Smith, big foul big there foul. Big from foul. Gastoldi Davis. Yeah. And Malcolm Smith going back to the foul line. As I mentioned, Smith's got to be really aggressive here if, if, uh, if Derby want to win this game. Conway's taking his foot off the gas a little bit. Bowman's kind of in and out. But I feel like Smith is going to be the difference maker. And being honest, I'm I'm now getting stuck on the comments. I'll I'll promise to keep my eye on the game as Malcolm Smith misses the first. It's one of those games where the the action has certainly done the talking, hasn't Without it? Without a doubt. Without I don't even think you need us for this game right now. But either way, Ronald Aberia gets the offensive rebound as Smith missed a pair of free throws. He goes back inside. Gets his own. And he'll go back to the foul line again. 
Now, the difference maker right here in the fourth is that Oakland's uh, are on four team fouls, possibly their fifth. Derby so far don't have any team fouls. Um, so Oakland's really want to start pushing the pace, getting to the basket again, putting them under pressure, because that will just benefit them down the line when they want to try and hold on to this lead they've got right now to four points. Malcolm Smith again misses the free throw. I'll tell you what, Tom, if I was to come back tomorrow, <laughs> I could definitely make some free throws. I've been practicing. Malcolm Smith, two for eight from the foul line, finally connects on that one. He's now three for nine from the foul line. Usually a very good foul shooter, Malcolm Smith, around 80%. And the Oakland's Wolves now lead 78-75 with 6.08 remaining as Ashley Ugo will take a seat. Ronald Aberia will, I mean, excuse me, Ashley Ugo will come into the game and Ronald Aberia will take a seat. James Cummings checking back in for Seth Wiley. Kane Daly will inbound inside to Kateri, who's had such a game. Step back three, doesn't get anything. Oliver Stanley with the rebound. I think that was a heat check. He'd hit two before. He's played really well in the fourth, to be honest. Kateri has 14 points on six for nine shooting so far. And now Jacob Conway will return to the line. Conway, who had such a strong first half, he's cooled off a little bit, still yeah, has 19 yeah, yeah. points in this game and is one of the uh, few <laughs> Derby Trailblazer players who is shooting around 80% from the foul line, eight for nine right now. There we go. Make that eight, nine for nine 10. 90%. And Jacob Conway misses the second free throw. James Cummings They've with the rebound. Here. And here comes Gastoldi Davis. It's two on two. Oh, Gastoldi Davis back. blocked by Brown. Cummings for three. And a big rebound by Jacob Conway and a foot violation. And it will stay with the Trailblazers. But that's good that they push. Like I said, they've got to try and find a way to get some fouls or get some easy baskets close. And they have hit freeze, but they shouldn't rely on them, I don't think. Brown. Here is Blake Bowman going inside. Good okay. defense from Cummings. On the follow, though, was Stanley. Tied ball game. And we are tied at 78 with 5.15 remaining. Right. Nine to shoot. Ooh, right, back. long three. Doesn't get anything. Blake Bowman collects the loose ball. Might need a timeout for Oakland. Just to regather. Inside it goes to Oliver Stanley, and it will go. In fact, a foul has been called, and Oakland's will get the ball back. Fouls on Hugo, I think. And the yeah. foul, uh, pushing foul on wow. uh, Ashley Hugo. And that's Ashley Hugo's time done. He's fouled out of the game. Yeah, so, a timeout. so Joshua Gademi will take a seat and much needed timeout. I don't think just for the players, but for us as well yeah, yeah. on the commentary booth. It's tied at 78, 453 remaining. John Hobbs alongside Courtney Van Beest. And what a way to make your commentating debut, Courtney, with this game. It looked to be out of reach for the Oakland's Wolves, but true to their form, they have a never-say-die attitude. Yeah, yeah. They come right back into it. They were down 20. We're now tied at 78. All to play for. Definitely. Um, you know, just under the five-minute mark left in the game. Again, tied. Uh, I think this time out here kind of gathers them back together, reiterates some of the things they should be doing to keep them in the game, the pressure, attacking. Making the open shots when they get them, but not over forcing them, which I think we've seen a few times here. Um, and just staying locked in, staying focused, really. You can see Coach Shaw and there's Tom Baker, both providing instruction to their teams. This much-needed break in play. Tied at 78. 
We had a close fourth quarter yesterday, just down the road at the Sports Village at the University of Hertfordshire. We look to be going the same way here at Oakland's College today. It's been a pretty, uh, a pretty good weekend for close basketball. Absolutely, yeah, no, definitely. This time, this time in the game yesterday, um, uh, Solon and, and THB were, were pretty close as well. TBC, sorry. And Joshua Kademi will now come out into the game for uh, Ashley Ugu, who's now fouled out of the game. Wow. So, so far, we have four players fouled out of the game, two each. In fact, excuse me, I think Ugo was actually the first player for the Trailblazers to be fouled out. Here is Kane Daly going all the way off the glass, too strong. Conway inside. Good defense there from Oliver Wright. Bowman. Bowman going inside at Kateri. Tough move from Excellent Blake Bowman. Footwork. Excellent footwork. And Excellent the Trailblazers footwork. lead again. Kane Daly. Daly for three is short. Bowman the rebound. They're a bit flat right now. Stanley inside to Conway off the glass and the Trailblazers now lead by four. Yeah, they've Oakland have lost that momentum they've had. Uh, and they can get it back. All they've got to do is be a, a bit more aggressive, try and get something to the basket. Right inside to Cummings. Cummings <laughs> inside off the glass too strong. Stanley the rebound. It's two on two here. Here comes Kademi. Easy layup yeah. for two. Yeah, that was an easy one. The momentum now with the visitors. And the bench getting animated as well. Daly. Stolen by Conwell. Nearly stolen by Conway. Gastoldi Davis has it. Six to shoot. Gastoldi Davis inside off the Excellent glass. Take. Excellent take. And all you need is a few of those to keep you in the game. The Oakland's college man with the layup. Here is Bowman. Stolen by Wright. One on one. Wright shields the ball. Gets it to go and a foul. This is why I love basketball. About eight seconds ago, I told you they were flat. And eight seconds later, here they are. And it's... The, the youth again, Gastoldi yeah, yeah. Davis, an Oakland's college product, getting the first two. Oliver Wright right, yeah. getting the and one opportunity. And he's had an amazing game. He'll, he Absolutely. Won't, he won't forget this game anytime soon. You know, he's shot well from the three, three point line. He's hustled. Uh, he's got to the basket a couple of times. 17 points for Oliver Wright. He was three for 11 when these two teams last met. My goodness me, has he improved his Definitely. fortunes here today? These, uh, these stats are definitely going to make it to social media. I think this game is going to yeah. make it to social media. <laughs> there have been so many talking points. Three players fouled out for the Oakland's Wolves, one for the Trailblazers. Uh, we, we didn't even check Bowman's foul count. I don't think it was his fifth, but it could have definitely been his fourth, <laughs> which would make a big impact on the game if he, if he is close to fouling out. Oh. A missed pass there, Another and here come the Wolves again. Another turnover for the Trailblazers. 21 turnovers for the Trailblazers. Gastoldi Davis, Daly. Daly inside, goes up. I, oh, gets his own, own rebound <laughs> and gets fouled. So much hustle from Kane Daly. I'm telling you, and he really wanted that. You could see it. He got to the basket, just about missed, but did not want to give up on the play. Two twenty-three remaining. It's almost like we don't want this game to end. I, I, I <laughs> wouldn't be. Uh, I wouldn't be upset if it didn't end. I'll be honest with you. A little bit of overtime action, maybe. As Gutemi takes a seat, he's on three fouls at the moment. As Kane Daly makes the second, the game is tied at 84.
Conway. Conway falls over, still has the ball. Wow. He loses it out of bounds. It's is an Oakland's hurt? possession, and he hurt Jacob him? Conway has stayed down. Man. And a timeout has been called by Coach Matt Shaw. Jacob Conway on his feet, but limping heavily, and there's a grimace on his face, as you can see on the screen. And, uh, and thinking back now, he'd slowed down coming into the second half, mm. I think, because he was a bit hurt in the first half as well. Remember we mentioned? Um, so I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he's, if he's re-hurt himself there. 2.14 remaining. The game is tied at 84. It's all about now who steps up and takes control of this ball game. It's been scrappy at times. It's been bad-tempered at times. Yeah. But the action has never stopped. It's never gone down. It's always been there. And what a two minutes 14 we've had. And as you mentioned, you know, overtime is a real possibility. A, yes, it definitely. really is. I think as well, especially the way Oakland's have shot the ball relatively well in the second half. You know, all it takes is one of them to, you know, to, to catch fire a little bit here. Could really push the, push the, the tempo for them, uh, put Derby on the edge uh, and just see how the game goes, really. What a game on the Basketball England YouTube channel. If you've just joined us, everyone, welcome. If you've just joined us, you've missed a lot. And if you've just joined <laughs> us, you've missed quite a lot. I'm not going to lie, but it's great to see so many people tuning in and, and watching us on the uh, Basketball England YouTube channel. So many great games ahead of us. Of course, next month, the focus turns to the WNBL as well so many great women's basketball action we'll be bringing you the worcester wolves and nottingham trent university and that will be followed by reading against ipswich kane daly going inside off the glass that's a baller's move that's a baller's move he got to his spot he was patient stopped hesitated went up easy too inside to smith who counters the game is tied again then you got smith who's just a bulldog down there Oakland's wisely slowing play down. 140 remaining. A little bit of trouble. Big three from Cummings is off. Stanley the rebound. 20 rebounds for Oliver Stanley to go with 14 points. Conway. Yeah. Five to shoot. Smith blocked Big by block. Kateri. Big block. <laughs> and a poor pass from Kane Daly. Inexperience. Yeah, yeah. You must say. And the Derby Trailblazers get the ball back. Final minute. He really threw it quite half-heartedly. Conway inside to Stanley. Blows the layup. Gets it gets again. His own, though. I can see how he gets so many double-doubles. And Castoli Davis fouled by Conway. That will be a shooting foul. As well, and I yeah, believe. and... Gastoli Davis will now go to the foul line. 21 rebounds, though, for Oliver Stanley, but he missed the layup that could have given the Trailblazers the lead. Yeah, much needed as well. And Toby Gastoli Davis, an athletic guard who played for Oakland's college in the Elite Academy Basketball League last season. Of course, the um, EABL not in operation this season due to the coronavirus pandemic. Hey. And Gastaldi Davis airballs the first free throw. Maybe the, fatigue is playing a factor in this. Definitely. I do think having the door open as well um, has played a big part in the poor free throw shoot, I just realized. Let's not mention that. <laughs> <laughs> Gastaldi Davis misses both, but I think they'll retake. There's bodies on the floor as well. He's rushed both. I think he's got to take his time. Oh, like you say, fatigue is setting in. Uh, they've really got a knuckle down now. Trailblazers ball. Two possessions left in the game, effectively. 48.8 seconds remaining. We're tied at 86. In what has been one of the most incredible National Basketball League Division One games this season, without question. Definitely. Wire to wire, end to end. Absolutely. Smith. 
inside to Conway. Conway puts it in off the glass over two defenders. Nice and easy. Timeout, Tom Baker. And that was a, that was a good set play there. They needed that. Something they knew they could go to, get a good look inside, um, get the basket, the foul, or if not both. Um, and now they're up to. 33 seconds remaining. The Trailblazers lead by two. If you were coach Tom Baker, as well, you know, you, you've invested so much into the youth this season. Your two best players are not on the court right now. You know, what is, what is Tom Baker saying to his team right now? Um, I think for him, I think he wants a good, uh, they get the ball on the side. So I think he wants a good out of bounds set. Uh, whether they score or not, they need to get the ball in bounds and get something that's going to get them a good solid look. There's no rush. Um, they're going to have a full shot. Or they're going to have the full shot clock. They haven't got a force up a three. They're only down two. Um, and going to the basket and getting a foul on a basket would be just as good as them as getting an open three. Um, so I think just being aggressive, being aggressive and being focused in right now and then getting a good stop at the other end um, is, is all you can hope for, really. And that's a good thing for Oakland that you, you mentioned. You know, there's still a shot clock going on, so it's a two-for-one possession, 33 seconds left. Yeah, yeah. So... If it all goes their way, Oakland will actually get the final shot if all goes their way. Definitely, definitely. Jacob Conway with 24 points on 7 of 15 shooting. Oliver Stanley, 14 points, 21 rebounds, 13 defensive, 8 offensive. Wow. What a game he's had. Oliver Wright with 17 to lead the way for the Oakland Wolves. Got a roll, got a roll. Daly. Three to shoot. Cummings going inside. Too strong. And a big rebound from the Trailblazers and an unsportsmanlike foul has that's, been called. That's not what he wanted at all. I think that's on Oliver Wright. That's a poor foul. Yeah. He wanted to go for the ball. He missed it completely. Conway probably sold it a little bit. Um... And now they've got two shots in possession. Jacob Conway, a 90% foul shooter. He's only missed two today, I And think. he's only missed two, yeah, so far. Nine for 11 from the foul line. 15.4 seconds remaining, and Conway has a chance to potentially, you could say not put this game quite out of reach, but make it... That little bit tougher for Oakland to be a two-possession game. I mean, at this point in time, if he makes both and they get a possession, you're looking for a miracle. They're probably going to have to foul again, which gives them two more free throws. Um, and then it becomes a stop, uh, clock-stopping game. Mainly uh, the inexperience has just played its part in a possible Oakland's Wolves defeat here today. Definitely, definitely. But they shouldn't put their heads down if, if that is the case. They've, they've played a tremendous game. Smith, and they yep. foul straight yep. away. Not much time has gone off the shot clock. So Malcolm Smith will now go to the foul line, and Smith has not fared as well from the foul line in this game. Three for seven. Oh, another, another, another player fouled out. What they'll need, what Oakland will need to do here now is secure the, the, off the, uh, the rebound, which they haven't done tremendously well off of free throws. James um, Cummings now takes a seat. Seth Wiley into the game. And Malcolm Smith knocks down the first, and you know he knocks down the second. You could say, you know, with 14.2 remaining, that's game over. I think all they've got to do is play some solid defense at that point in time. And makes Smith both. makes them both. In the clutch. You can see Conway shouting, "No foul!" Kane Daly goes for three. No good. Charlie Brown, big rebound, oh, wait, but wait, it wait. still gets it to. Nice. Off the glass is good. That's. Oh. <laughs> from Oliver Wright, but it doesn't matter now. Oh. And the referees, I think, are calling that ball game, even though there was still time I when the was foul was called. I yeah. thought there was still time. But, but the referees have wiped it clean, and that ends a thrilling contest An here at Oakland's game. College. Absolutely. The Derby Trailblazers come away with a 92-88 win over the Oakland's Wolves in a game filled with talking points, especially in the third quarter. It started with uh, Jordan Santiago getting ejected. Yes, then roughly 30 seconds to a minute later, A.J. Roberts fouled out, and that obviously began 
you know, a, a spree of people fouling out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bodies are dropping. But you know, the intensity of this game never went down. The Trailblazers were leading by 20. Oakland's came back, but that intensity never, never left. Nope. And it set us up for a grandstand finish. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's what made the game. Uh, Oakland's remained aggressive. You know, they had a lot of mistakes. Um, they were they were out of sync offensively at times, but because they remained aggressive, they kept applying that pressure. Uh, things just kept going their way. They got a whole load of turnovers out of their presses and, and, and Derby dropping the ball, making some bad mistakes. Um, great play out of some of the young guys, really stepping up, knocking down big shots, taking on big defensive assignments. Uh, and it's what you want to see. It's what you want to see of the young guys. It gives them that confidence to go into their next game you know, try and do the same things again and, and really just build upon and, uh, upon their, their careers, their seasons, um, you know, and become better players overall. Jacob Conway leading all scorers for the Trailblazers with 26 points. Oliver Stanley with 14 points and 22 rebounds to lead the Trailblazers. Oliver Wright, the high man for the Oakland's walls with 19 points. AJ Roberts and Jordan Santiago each with 15 before they exited the game. It's been a thrilling contest here at the Oakland's College where the Trailblazers have defeated the Oakland's walls 92 to 88. I'm John Hobbs alongside Courtney Van Bees. Good afternoon, everybody.